coach. First, half, let's talk about the whole game because the first half it was a lot of energy. Team, everybody was going back and forth, and it pretty much was going everybody's way. You know, the speed, speed on speed. Yeah, Houston Baptist did a great job in the first half. They really matched us on on the boards. Uh, I was disappointed with our guys because we are a very good rebounding team. We out rebounded Kentucky in the first half, who's probably the best in the country at rebounding. So to be out rebounded 12, I thought that was a big difference in the first half. The other thing about the first half, and then we'll get into the second, toward the end of the first half, HBU went on a, a, a small drought, and in the process, it set up to the beginning of the second half. Yeah, I mean, luckily for us, uh, we were able to get a few stops and a couple of steals uh, down the stretch in the first half, as well as that critical stretch in the second half that kind of changed the game when we picked up our pressure a little bit. But um, our guys play with a lot of intensity, and I'm really proud of them for coming in here. Second half, you went on a pretty big run, uh, like I think it was 15 to three, somewhere along there, and that pretty much set the, the tone to finish the game. Where HBU went on that six-minute drop. Yeah, we went a little bit more aggressive in our in our full court pressure. We told the guys to trap all over the court instead of just waiting until they cross half court. It seemed like we got a couple got a couple hands on balls and were able to turn them over and then. Brandon Edwards hit a couple of shots. I think uh, Lonnie was able to get in there and we were able to turn that eight point. I think we were down eight at the time and, and, and close the gap and uh, even it up. And I think that gave our guys energy the rest of the way. And that segues into my next uh, point. Brandon Edwards, his 20 points in his 22 points in the second half was huge for you all just, just going down the stretch. He was a monster. At halftime, we really got on him because he's our best rebounder. I think he's like top 10 in the country. And at halftime, he had two rebounds. So we got on him at halftime about that. Uh, second half, uh, you know, we told him it's like a light switch, just turn it on. And he's had trouble at times when he's played bad in the first half, you know, of continuing to, to be in a slump. But this year, it's, it's, he's been able to kind of flip the light switch and play great after, you know, a marginal first half. And he did. I mean, he had shots, he had donks, uh, you know, he grabbed more rebounds. I mean, he was definitely the key to our run. And lastly, you get, when's your next game? Uh, Tuesday against Oklahoma. At home on the road. On the road. With that being said, tonight, guys pretty much got the ride home and all that. Just think about this and then you think about the next game. Is, uh, yeah, we're going to give them off uh, tomorrow. They'll have all day off to, to recover and enjoy it. And then Monday, we're going to get after it. Tuesday, we'll drive down and play OU on Tuesday night. Is there anything else you can think of that I hadn't asked about UTA? Uh, the only other thing would be Lonnie McClanahan. He played outstanding. Uh, he's our second shortest player on the team, and he had 12 rebounds and a double-double, a career high. That was pretty amazing for him. <laughs> he had to put that in, the second shortest player on the team. Well, he's, getting he, re yeah. he's getting rebounds. Hey, what did truth. that say about everybody else working if on? If you want a rebound, you can go get it. It doesn't matter how big you are. All right, Coach. Introduce yourself for folks that don't know who you are and where. I'm Scott Cross, head basketball coach for the University of Texas in Arlington. And this is Jerry Lee Woodley Jr. with another College Sports Report. Thank you, sir. Thank you.